So, starting with the Daily Mail, Leah. So, the Daily Mail has, at last, a voice of sanity on children and trans dogma. So, this is the publication of Hillary Cass's review of, uh, of NHS gender identity services. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's incredibly damning. It's, I mean, it's, it's insane. It's, it's a lot of the things that have been, a lot of the concerns that have been raised uh, on this channel and, uh, you know, by, by other people who've been condemned as being, you know, bigots or, or far right. Yeah. Uh, but this has is, this is revealed that um, they're, the, the, their gender treatment for children is built on shaky foundations. Children have been lied to. They need to use a lot of caution before youngsters are led into the led down the path of uh, changing their pronouns, which you know often yeah. then leads on to further treatment. And uh, also, they, they say there's evidence severely lacking over the use of puberty blockers. Uh, so there's there's you know a lot of kids are put on puberty blockers who access these these treatment services, yeah. and these you know they're told oh these are reversible, this is fine, it's you know you can come off them. And in most cases, they don't come off them. And even if they do, they can be left sterile or with uh, health issues. I did. I saw some uh, very alarming diagrams, well, photographs, really, scientific sort of microscopic slides and so on, of how cells are affected by these yeah. things in testicles and so on. It's not good. It, it reminded me, I don't know if this is meaningless, but it reminded me personally of the effect COVID had on lungs. You remember when, the, you know, you get that kind of deterioration of the well, quality. sterilisation is what's been going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the greatest, uh, you know, medical... Uh, a controversy that we've had for Scandal. 100 years, you can pretty much. It down, can't we? And yeah. I mean, that's that's you can now say that without mm. being considered to be, you know, um, uh, completely cancelable instantly. Yeah. Uh, How quickly it, has that changed? It was only what six months ago. I well, think I mean, still everybody wondering. knew it. You yeah. just you just couldn't get away with it. You couldn't say it because. You know, people hadn't caught up yet. Yeah, everyone's five years behind for some reason and, all and the it was time. Like, it was like a religion as well. It was yeah. like, you know, gender ideology is this altar. You know, it, it can't yeah. be questioned. It can't be, it, you know, if, if, you, if you do anything like that, you're, you're a heretic. And uh, obviously, I mean, dishing out puberty blockers and hormones to children is, yeah. you know, something you, may, you might do as a, as a last resort, but don't, you know. I, mean, I, like I remember um, reading, because what has really fucked me about this over the whole course of this trans thing is how it has seemed to turn everything upside down down. 20 years ago, you had a, a kind of the new atheist movement, you know, yeah. the rationalist community, the science, follow the science. These were the people on the left. These were sweeping away the old bigots, the religious mm. diehards, you know, who had the dogma. And, and, and there was a guy called Carl Sagan, who was a real kind of, you know, like a secular saint for these people, who wrote a book called The Demon Haunted World about getting rid of the last vestiges of superstition. And he castigated people for affirmative therapy where people would come in and go oh i see angels and the therapist would go do you do you see angels you know <laughs> yeah. it's like no tell them they aren't seeing angels yeah well what this thing has revealed this uh, which again by more journalists in america is that you know a, a proportion of these children um, do later turn out to just be gay or homosexual yeah. or something else and they're now being chemically, chemically castrated or given these puberty blockers and before they even had a chance to work out who the hell they are yeah, yeah. and it, i mean you, you would think that the you know, the far left or the LGBTQ movement would, would at least step in to defend them to some extent or say, mm. hang on a second. But mm. on the contrary, they were actually the attack dogs for this uh, yeah. kind of science, which has now been proven to be completely out of place. Absolutely. Well, it's reassuring that sense seems to be uh, regaining the, the middle ground.